Hi, I'm Dr. Ron Miller of Pursuit Physical Therapy, and today we're going over two things that you can do at home to help treat your middle back pain. Okay, there's actually going to be three things, so I just thought of another one. So the first thing to do is a lot of times people who work at a desk or work on their computer all day or are receptionists, they're constantly in this forward bend over posture. So the first thing to do is to pay attention to your workplace ergonomics and make sure that you're sitting upright. If you're just sitting back like this, you're just going to overload that mid-back area all day and you're going to have that chronic constant burning pain between your shoulder blades. So the first thing to do is to correct your workplace or see your posture during um, when you have your symptoms. So pay attention to your posture. The second thing to do is to do a simple foam roll where you can self-mobilize your mid-back area and you can search through my YouTube channel and, and I'll show you how to do a foam roll to help your middle back pain. Um, this should not make it worse. It's just like a myofascial release along the middle back area. You can roll up and down on it maybe four sets of ten and then stand up and reassess. How did this make my middle back pain feel? Did it make it better, same, or worse? Okay. And then the third thing to do is to, maybe it's not really a middle back pain. I've seen this all the time where people keep complaining of middle back pain and they get treated in the mid back, they foam roll, they stretch, they go to the chiropractor for their middle back pain and it keeps coming back because a lot of times it's actually a cervical neck pain problem. It actually is referred from the neck, but it's causing middle back pain. And this is something that you can do to see if, if this is causing your pain. If you have your middle back pain right now, say it's a five, five out of 10. If you do a cervical retraction and go back like this, maybe try two or three sets of 10. And if that changes your middle back pain, you know that it's a neck problem and it's not a middle back problem. And you have to start getting treatment here for that. So those are three things that you can do for your middle back pain. If any of these things work, but it's not fully resolving, give us a call. We'll get you in and get some treatment started. If nothing is helping and you still have your middle back pain, maybe there's something else involved. Maybe there's something beyond just a myofascial release that's causing your symptoms and you need a more thorough eval. So if you're still having your pain and it's not resolving, give us a call today at 407-494-8835 and we'll get you in for a thorough eval and we'll solve the problem that's really causing your mid-back pain. For more information, you can visit us at PursuitTherapy.com and thank you for your time.